Welcome back, Rise Up 44 here on LEO Gaming, playing Mantis Burn Racing on the PlayStation 4. Mantis Burn Racing is by Vufu Studios. Jumping right in. Online race, local race, career, garage, my game. Rookie season one. Event type race, weight, medium, locations, sand town, track, summit. Best no result, gears one, O of six. Welcome to your Mantis Burn Racing career. Progress through your career, you'll need to earn gears. A set amount of gears are required to unlock each session's final event. Gears are earned by completing challenges. The first of these is always to win the event, but others will test your driving skills in many different ways. Simply reach the finish line before the rest. Races come in three distances. Sprint, Standard, and Endurance. I guess this is my starting vehicle. Loading. Use R2 to accelerate and L2 to brake. The boost gauge will fill as you earn XP. Once the gauge is full, use X to boost. Use R1 to change camera modes. Start race. Oh boy, almost spun out there. Oh boy, he's gonna take the lead on me. Shoot! They all did. Dang it. Wish there was a handbrake. Oh no. Man, the person in first is out. I don't even see her on my screen anymore. Or him. Thought it was a girl's name. There it is. Finished. Second. Yep. Scooter one. Okay. That was cool. Let's see. Second reward. Um, continue. Well done. By finishing in the top three places, you have unlocked the connected events on your career grid. Upgrades can be earned from the career grid. Some may lie directly on your path, but others may require you to fill in whole sections by completing all of the surrounding events. That's cool. I feel like I could do better on that first one. I spun out. That's a bad start.
All right, I was playing with the camera, so let's restart. There were so many awesome top-down racers when we were kids. This definitely reminds me of so many of those. I really like them. Man, we would get competitive, too. My brothers and I. Man, that was close. No, there goes my lead. Watch, he's gonna catch up now. Shoot, I just screwed myself, I think. Forwards is so overrated. I just used my boost. That's a bronze PlayStation trophy. And I finished first. I'll take it. Alright. That was a good race. Level up. 2000 G. Welcome to the garage. From here, you can buy new vehicles as well as upgrade and paint those you already own. Vehicles in Mantis Burn Racing are split into three different weights, light, medium, and heavy. And three separate classes, rookie, pro, and veteran. Each weight of a vehicle has its own unique strengths and weaknesses. To start your Mantis Burn Racing journey, you'll get your first rookie vehicle for free. This is the Renegade, a rookie class medium weight vehicle. New vehicles can be bought for G, the Mantis Burn currency. Vehicles will only become available to buy once you reach a required XP level. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. There we go. Ah, let's see. Each vehicle in Mantis Sprint Racing has its own upgrade dial. All upgrades that you unlock will appear in the area above the dial. There are five different types of upgrade. Engine, gearbox, tires, um, suspension, and boost. Each improves the performance of your vehicle in a different way. Sockets on the upgrade dial are used to install upgrades. Selecting an empty socket will allow you to install any unlocked upgrade you have available. Selecting an upgrade you have you already have installed will allow you to scrap it. Scrapped upgrades will be lost, but you will earn a small amount of G scrap value. Alright. Time trial is just your versus just you versus the clock. Beat three set times to finish first, second, or third. Alright, here we go.
I like the ghost car. I think that's... I think that's my personal best, I think. the need bronze PlayStation trophy Beat my time by a little bit, not by much, but a little bit. Nice. Try. Oh, I'm sorry. Tire up. <laughs> try. Tire upgrade unlocked. Increases your vehicle's traction, provides more grip when cornering, and helps to prevent wheels spin when accelerating. bronze PlayStation trophy that must have been just from upgrading my first upgrade obviously league events involve a number of consecutive races competitors are awarded points related to their finishing position in each race the highest point total after all races are completed is the winner We got six cars now, nice. Alright, here we go, I'm in first, second place. Uh, I spun out. Not good. I thought I was going to hit the wall there. Nice. First place. No claims bronze PlayStation trophy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next race.
Ooh, this dude's taking out the fence. Oh, I took out the fence. Shouldn't have spoke. Move up to the bumper. Bronze PlayStation trophy. I like this track. Ooh, it's getting dark. Alright. Just a little section that got dark. Jeez. It does get really dark in some parts. Not good. They're gonna catch up right now. I hit the divider wall. Drift over a thousand meters. I did that. I didn't know that. Must have been an accident. Oh boy. I hit that rock pretty hard. Let me get dark again. <clears throat> Excuse me. No, I did it again. That fork in the road really screws me up. Nice. Um, let's see. Win the event. Maybe one more race? I could have swore I just won that two times in a row. Engine upgrade, engine upgrade unlocked. Increases your vehicle's maximum speed. Too much power without traction can make cornering tricky and burning tires can result in poor acceleration. Hmm. Ooh, I gotta choose now. Accumulator. Sprint. Let's go with that. Not eligible. What? What is going on? Oh, okay, I gotta buy a new vehicle. Accumulator requires the winner to reach 10,000 points. The first place driver will earn points quickest, while the last place will earn points slowest. Once a driver reaches 10,000 points, the event ends. All right. Accumulator requires the winner to reach 10,000 points. The first place driver will earn points quickest, while the last place will earn points slowest. Once a driver reaches 10,000 points, the event ends. Here we go. Last place. Oh, I just seen a shortcut. What's up with that? That's cheap. I hate shortcuts. Racing games. I think that they're just cheap, cheap, cheap.
Unless, of course, I know how to use it. <laughs> Hypocritical, I know. I'll probably use it next time, tell you the truth. If I remember. Oh my god! I tried to use it and I screwed myself. Right into a rock. <laughs> I may have just seen another secret. Shoot, shoot. Dang it. not a secret it's just gray face of the mountain totally screwed up totally screwed up now I'm gonna lose oh I can't believe I did that took a gamble and lost that really sucks Completed this event. I got 10,000 points already. What? I don't get it. I don't get how that works. Whatever. Ours. Knockout requires you to be the last driver standing. Each lap. The last place vehicle is eliminated until only the winner remains. That's cool. Let's try it. Dude, look at how fast he goes. Right off the bat. It's definitely that type of car on this surface, without a doubt.
What? I thought it was a shortcut. Dang it. I almost quit the race by accident. Four seconds airborne, ninety percent. All right, let's buy another vehicle. There's actually a decent amount of vehicles. Let's make this one cobalt blue. With yellow, that works. All right, let's try it. Oh, this is that track with the split that I kept hitting the wall backwards, though. Yep. This is that same track backwards. Definitely. I need a good straightaway so I can hit this boost. Like that. I'm starting to be able to look at the mini-map in the bottom left corner and play at the same time. You know, when you first jump into a racing game where you're unfamiliar with the tracks, it is hard to... Oh, oh Airborne Division. Bronze PlayStation Trophy. But yeah, when you're jumping into a race on a track you're unfamiliar with, it, it's tough sometimes to get used to it and be able to use... all the different things on the corners of your screen like a mini map doing much better oh as I freaking hit the wall son of a gun I was gonna say I'm doing better in this part with the track being backwards but so much for that Oh boy, I'm gonna hit it again. Nope, I managed to get away from it. What is that little dot on the minimap right there? I wonder what that is. I 
doing some serious drifting. Nice. All right. Lap times. I always check the leaderboard to see if there's anybody I know. There's not there though. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nice. Engine upgrade unlocked. So what do we have here? We have sprint. Oh, we're on a uh, pavement for the first time. All right, we got a pin. Oh, terrible start. Terrible start. It's going to be different um, because on the dirt, you slide. On pavement, I don't think that you're going to slide the same way. I would think the developers thought that mechanic out at least. Everything else seems to kind of lead that way as far as what I've seen so far for this game. We will see in a second. I was wrong. You still slide just like you did on the dirt. I don't know if this is uh, cement, actually. This might be... Oh, no, this isn't cement. This is uh, some kind of a dirt track. So, we're going to get the same type of movement that we had on the dirt roads that we have on this. It looks like uh, cement or tar or whatever, but it's not. Mm. Okay, we got another dot on the minimap right now. I wonder what those are. I'm really curious what they are. Another one? Buildings? No. I don't know what they are. I'd like to know. Oh, look at the boats and stuff. That's cool. The L2 definitely helps. Just tap an L2. Kind of learning that as soon as you get the boost you should use it as soon as possible so that you can rebuild it as soon as possible once again a dot on the mini map I'm trying to see what that is don't know can't see without using boost. Oh, I didn't even see that. I would have done that. I still would have won. Nice. We got one, two, three, four more races, I believe.
Once all of a vehicle's upgrade sockets are full, you can pay G to level up. Once leveled up, your vehicle will have a cool new look, but most importantly, will have new sockets added to its upgrade dial. Oh, that's cool. Level up. Level up vehicle, are you sure? Yeah. Trophy earned. MK2 Fiesta. Alright, cool. the wall dang it on my shadow. Oh no. I feel like I'm raising myself right now, which I am, I guess. That was awesome. Another dot on the mini map. I really wish I knew what those were. Come on, give me a straightaway. Oh my gosh, almost hit that wall, but my shadow is way out in front of me right now. This is going to be like my worst lap ever. I got to catch my shadow. I am doing terrible this lap. This might be my worst lap ever on this track. That was my worst lap ever on that track, but I did get all three of the objectives done.
Hmm. Improves boost effectiveness. Increases the total time of a single boost and allows the boost gauge to fill faster. Random upgrade unlocked. Alright, so let's upgrade my car. Oh, okay. Sprint. Oh, wow, there's a lot of people racing. Two, four, six, eight. Oh, I spun out again. And then I got a little push. Dude, this dude's gonna smoke me. He's got one of the... Dude, no, no, no. Bad start. Spinning out again, jeez. Man, he is out. Look at him go. What I need to do is focus on my racing and not worry about him. No! Nice! Oh no, no, no! Shoot, 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 shoot! I might play a little dirty. It's okay. Amazing drift. Alright, now the only person that can beat me is myself. If I have a bad crash or something, they might catch up, but... Besides that, I shouldn't be okay. Oh, that was close. Yeah, that was a bad one. That's it. Wow, 
Why do I peel out every time? I'm not even hitting the gas hard. Might have something to do with my engine, my upgrades. I don't know. But I don't like it. I've peeled out like every single race lately. On dirt, at least. Since I did those upgrades. Ooh, a little shortcut, huh? Okay. Oh, no! Shortcut again. Dang it. Not good. Fourth place. I don't like fourth place. Alright, let's see. I'm starting in second this time. See, I'm peeling out, dude. I don't get it. Saved it first straight away. I just lost a ton of momentum. break any time records there but it's all right level up Rookie, season two unlocked. Progressing nicely, bronze PlayStation trophy. All right, so season two, so they're called seasons. All right, I forgot. Um, I just completed season one. That's cool. So what do we have? We have local race. Let's do an online race. Online race. Join public lobby, host private race. Join public lobby. Establishing connection. Online AI. There are currently no players looking for online game. 
for an online game. If you enable AI drivers in the vehicle's menu, you can race any event type against AI opponents while receiving notification as soon as another player joins your lobby. That's actually really smart. Okay, so maybe split screen? It's gotta be right, split screen. Player two, press X to join. Yeah, okay, so it is split screen. That's pretty cool. All right, so you can do local races, split screen. I really would like to do an online oh, weekly challenge. Are you ready to take on this week's challenge? Lap your opponent two times on the mine. Okay, let's do it. Oh boy, lone vehicle. I don't want that thing. I guess I'm stuck using that thing. Lap your opponent two times on the mine in the fastest possible time. <clears throat> Excuse me. see how these van looking things control because it's not quite an SUV and it's not quite a van it kind of looks like a it kind of looks like an 18 wheeler with you know like the or like a tow truck front like cab on an SUV or a van body it's kind of strange Oh boy, this track, huh? It gets real dark. It's gonna split pretty soon, watch. Which way am I in it, though? Oh wait, this is a different track. I haven't played this one yet. The mine. Maybe it won't split. I don't think I've played that yet. I haven't seen that yet. Or maybe I have, I don't know. I don't remember seeing all these big giant uh, trucks. Tonka trucks. Tonka Tonka. A tonka Tonka. Plus 100 XP. Doing pretty good. I'm not really sure how this works. I don't know if I just keep going until I lap them, until I get in front of them. Because um, it said lap them two times in the fastest time. So 
Maybe I just keep going until I keep creeping, creeping, creeping up on them. Once I lap them, that counts as one. And then do it again. That'll be two. I don't know. Oh, that sucks. There he is. Finished. You have completed this event. Weekly challenge accepted. Bronze PlayStation trophy. I don't know what I did there, but he was like sideways in the middle of the road. Um, not really sure what that was about. Maybe he crashed. I don't know. So, what else do we have? We did the weekly challenge. Online race. Oh, I do have somebody that wants to race. Nice. Let's try this vehicle. You do not currently own this vehicle. When driving loan vehicles, you will not earn G or XP from events and will be unable to post best times and scores. Do you want to continue? No. Let's race with a car I own. I don't own any of these cars. What the heck? Minic X34. Banshee level three. Come on, dude, let's race. Oh, there, okay, I can see he's switching the track, so he's ready now. Nice. Knockout, huh? Pro vehicles. Oh, jeez. It's on. Never uses vehicles, so let's see how this goes. Mantis Burn Racing. We got some uh, AI with us. Nice. Oh, jeez, look at how fast. I'll bring it back without bronze PlayStation trophy just popped. Man, we're going fast. This is super fast. Oh, no! 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 Did he screw up, or did he just let me catch up? No! What? There he goes. He's pretty good. He better be level 80. I screwed up there. I tried following. I really shouldn't have. Oh, dude, he's way in front of me now.
No! I really screwed up there bad. <sighs> trophy earned. Punching above your weight. Silver trophy. The bigger they are. Nice. I think dude let me win. That's fine. I like winning. The host has left you now. You now have control of the lobby. Okay. So that's an online match. I do think that I was uh, let to win right there. But hey, I got trophies and I'll take them. I like PlayStation trophies. So that's going to do it for my first gameplay with Mantis Burn Racing on the PlayStation 4. Once again, Mantis Burn Racing is by Vufu Studios. Thanks for watching here on Alio Gaming. If you haven't already done so, please click that like button. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Share with your friends. Follow me on Twitter at RiseUp44 and at Nalio Gaming. And subscribe to me here on Nalio Gaming. I like this top-down style racer. Um, it's fun. It brings me back to some of the old-school uh, race games that we played as kids on Nintendo and um, all the other Sega, all those other consoles. Um, just kind of nostalgic and brings back a lot of good memories playing with my brothers much better graphics and way better handling obviously uh, these these cars actually handle really well and I just had a really good time got through um, the first set of stages first season went on to play a little bit of multiplayer saw that there is split screen so I'm having fun with it and I can't wait to continue on I made it up to level 8 so I'd like to see what other cars are available and see what other unlocks there are. You can really do a lot of customizing to the vehicles and upgrading to the engine and tires and so on. So it's really cool. I'm enjoying Mantis Burn Racing. Check it out for yourself on the PlayStation Store. So again, follow me on Twitter at RiseUp44. Subscribe to me here on Nalio Gaming. Click that like button and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.